Now, three teachers accused in the cheating scandal say they complained about threats and begged for help from a teacher's organization. New at 6, Channel 2's Tom Regan is live to explain why they went outside the school system. He's live now at their attorney's office in southwest Atlanta. That's right, Monica. I spoke to that teacher at her attorney's office this afternoon. She told me that she and the others feared retaliation if they took their complaints up the chain of command at Atlanta Public Schools. Instead, they sent a series of emails to the Georgia Association of Educators. They say they didn't get the response they had hoped for. No one was listening. No one listened to us. We tried to tell. We couldn't trust anyone within the system. This Atlanta teacher showed me the cry for help emails her colleagues at Finch Elementary School sent over two years ago to the Georgia Association of Educators, the organization that's supposed to back their interests. In the emails, accounts of relentless badgering and unprofessional behavior by school administrators. Teachers are reprimanded in the hallways and other public areas throughout the building and even in front of their students. We've been told to go work at Walmart if we cannot get students to pass the CRCT test. We highlighted that if we spoke out in faculty meetings or if we questioned anything that occurred at the school that we would be reprimanded. The emails went back and forth for several months. A GAE investigator told the teachers they had to reveal their identities to fully address the complaints. Everyone in Atlanta, you knew what would happen if you gave your name to, to the central office. We, we couldn't let them know that we had gone outside of the building. Sharona is one of three teachers who say they've been falsely accused of cheating. She says the association that's supposed to have her back failed in its duty when they first called for help. And their reaction was? Really nothing. Really nothing. Well, I contacted the Georgia Association of Educators this afternoon. No one was available to speak on camera, but a representative told me in cases of complaints by teachers of harassment, a staff attorney is usually assigned to investigate, but the teacher told me no one was offered this service or none of them was offered this service. Reporting live from Southwest Atlanta, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News.